guys, welcome back to Fresh Fan Healthy YouTube and today's going to be a little different because I'm bringing you in a kitchen and we're going to show you guys foods that people think are healthy but aren't healthy. So here are six foods you have to be careful of when trying to buy healthy foods and then also names on labels that could be a little misleading. So the first one is organic, and I'm saying this with caution because some foods are better organic, but things like ice cream aren't necessarily better. Organic chocolate ice cream, okay guys? It still has the same amount of calories and fat as regular ice cream, and I mean, I guess the only thing good about it is it's made with organic cane sugar, but come on, you've gotta be careful. Just because things say organic doesn't mean it's healthier. There are some foods that are better organic, but that's for another video. Next up on the list, any kind of sports drinks or any kind of, should I say, sugar water. So Gatorade, yes, it can be good for really intense athletes, and even at that, I caution it because they way over drink it. Gatorade is basically sugar and water and some electrolytes. So it would be much better to drink water and get in those electrolytes in another way. Or make sure at least you're using the low sugar varieties of these kind of sports drinks. Be careful, read your labels. Like this has 21 grams of sugar for eight ounces. And who drinks only eight ounces of Gatorade when they're drinking Gatorade? Almost no one. This one right here has five servings in it. That would be over 100 grams of sugar you're putting in your body. So be, be careful. The next one on the list is frozen dinners, guys. So be careful with frozen dinners. They can seem healthy. This one even says made with organic corn masa and it's a black bean verde. So that all sounds really good, but it still has 780 milligrams of sodium and it has 10 grams of fat, only seven grams of protein for the whole thing. And the likeliness of this all filling you up and you not wanting something else to eat is probably rare. So be careful with frozen dinners. If you have to resort every once in a while to them, at least make sure that they're low sodium varieties and low fat varieties and not a ton of unnatural stuff in it. But try to stay away from them. Try to just meal prep on Sundays and have dinner ready that isn't in a frozen dinner form. And if anything, cook a lot when you're cooking for one meal and freeze it yourself. And that's a frozen dinner I approve. Next up on the list, veggie chips. Guys, just because it has the word veggie in it does not mean it's healthier. Don't get me wrong, I love these things. 30% less fat than regular potato chips, no artificial flavors, preservatives. So I mean, if you're going to eat potato chips, this might be a little bit of a healthier alternative. But guys, it's not free game, it's not free calories. It's not free anything. So just because it has the word veggies in it, you can't just be eating these without guilt and thinking, oh, I can eat as many of these as I want. Everything in moderation if you're gonna be eating any kind of chip or any kind of processed bagged form of anything, you should be enjoying in moderation and not be going overboard on. Take a portion of this if you want them, because I eat them, I like them, but make sure you're portioning things out so you're not overdoing it because they aren't that much healthier than a regular potato chip. All right, next one on the list is all natural peanut butters. Okay, be cautious when it says natural on the label, guys. You have to read your ingredients because people are sneaky. They're sneaky labelers and they put stuff on the label that actually means nothing and they can get away with it. Because this natural Skippy still has sugar, still has oil, and still has salt added. So it's not any better than the other Skippy versions of peanut butter. But I do recommend buying all natural peanut butter, but make sure it's actually all natural. So for instance, this Smucker's Organic Creamy All Natural Peanut Butter actually only has peanuts and a, like 1% or less of salt. So this is a better choice, guys, than this one. 
make sure when you're buying all natural peanut butter almond butter that it's actually all natural and no ingredients added. Okay, I saved the best one for last because this one really, really gets me angry because people think they're eating healthier because it says gluten-free. There's this whole gluten-free fad going on and I could go on to a whole nother video about it, but if you're eating all the same kind of foods but just the gluten-free version of them, it's not any healthier. Say these gluten-free Pop-Tarts, guys. They still have 40 grams of carbs and 19 grams of sugar for one little pastry, and you know you're not stopping at one. People think, oh, it says gluten-free, so I'm eating healthy. No, gluten-free is just using a different kind of flour than wheat flour. So unless you have a true gluten intolerance or you have celiac disease, you don't need to be eating gluten-free and you don't need to be buying Pop-Tarts that are gluten-free because all you're doing is spending more money and eating the same nutrition value of foods. So unless you have an intolerance or you have celiac disease, be cautious about buying gluten-free because you're just wasting your money. Um, I definitely do suggest eating more whole carbs like sweet potatoes, brown rice, and stuff like that versus white bread or anything like that. But you don't need to be buying gluten-free and don't think you're eating healthier just because it says gluten-free. So there you guys have it. There are six foods that you need to be careful of and foods that might seem healthy but aren't. So guys, make sure you're reading your labels, make sure you're being cautious when you're buying foods, and just be careful about slogans and words that are right on front of the box or on the jar because a lot of times they can be misleading and you've really got to look on the back to the label to see if they truly pass the test and are truly healthy to be putting in your body. Make sure at the very least that you read the portion size on the label and also the ingredients that are in it. If it has more than like six ingredients or ingredients that you don't know, be cautious when buying it and make smart decisions. So until next time, hope you guys like this video. Tell me in the comments below what foods you have just recently found in your kitchen that you thought were healthy but aren't. Click the thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. See you later, guys.